pelican with some very soft mangoes and pots are full of skeletons and terry cloth kangos. Hey guys, Mango Kango here, and today I'm gonna be going over some items in the game that have problems with it. So I'm not gonna be going over like bugs and stuff like that, that this game has but i'm gonna be, i'm gonna be going over like every in-game item that has an issue and by that i mean like the paint color you can't change stuff um it's not aligned correctly or it sits too high stuff like that because i just noticed that the cutting board got fixed and maybe if somehow the word gets out there that all these other items have problems as well you could start seeing fixes for a lot of them which would be great right so for informative purposes and entertainment i'm going to be going over as many items that i can find or know about that have problems like that so yeah if you're ever just building and you know i build a lot you run into these problems all the time you go ahead, find an item you really like in the game, you get it down, place it, and you go to, you know, use the paint bucket just to find out, oh snap, uh oh, <laughs> it doesn't color. And believe it or not, this wouldn't be the only item that does this. There are numerous items that do this. So yeah, let's get into all these items that have problems like this. So if we start out with this one, this is a trash bin, and um, not a lot of people use it, and I think the biggest reasoning for this is simply that you can't color it whatsoever. Now, it is good that it is a common gray or a light gray, but it still does not allow you to paint it anywhere at all. And the reason it does this, I'm not entirely sure. I know sometimes when you're in Roblox Studio, if you forget to, um, I, th I forgot what the setting is, but there is a setting that makes it where you can't paint the object if you had done a uh, cut on the um, main part itself. All right, another item is the fruit bowl. This item is a very unique shape actually, and it could be utilized in many ways as well. However, when you take the fruit out, it doesn't stay like that. It will reload, I'm pretty sure, after you um, have the house re-implemented, which is a shame because, you know, this would be a really fun object to use without the fruit. Or he could have at least made it so that you could color the fruit, but when he uses textures like this, it, it kind of ruins the whole uh, utilization of an object. However, even if you wanted to change the bowl, from my knowledge, it's never been um, doable. And even if it is by doing this method, it shouldn't be this hard for any item to be changed. And as you can see, I changed the ground before I even changed the um, object. All right, another item we'll be looking into is the clock. Now you might be thinking, well, the clock has pretty, like you can change everything. And as that might be true, um, I want to talk about something about this item real quick. It would be incredibly nice if you could color the outside without the um, the middle coloring as well. I think when you have, because there's a lot of items like this too, where they are pertained, like, how do I explain it? You're, you're only given a certain amount of uh, color variation throughout the object because when you color one thing, it colors so much of the other stuff. And this is a very good example right here. If I wanted this to be white, or I wanted this to be white, and then I wanted this to be black, then it changes this as well, but let's say I wanted the outside to be green. Well, you can't do that because then it changes the inside. So you're left with uh, a dilemma where you kind of have to choose for, I don't know, the best way for this to look nice sometimes. and. It limits your ability to make it more versatile. Alright, then we have the dojo shelf. As this is one of the most useful items in the game, I'm in no way downplaying this thing. But, deep down, I feel like we always should have been able to at least change the sword. Changing the color of the swords would be really, really cool. And I think some people would genuinely enjoy that. Again, it's one of those items where if you have it facing this way, it's almost in you like non-usable because of simply the fact that you can't color it all all right then we have the lovely um i think it's the lovely stool or something like that or lovely chair um this item actually can be fully recolored as you can see i'm clicking it right now but to most people i'm clicking it right now and it's not coloring you actually have to do this thing where you zoom in all the way here and then you color it but should it really be like that no it should be way easier than that because anyone that's new to the game is just going to think that you can't color it or is going to have extreme difficulty with it especially your mobile users i'd imagine that is not one of the easiest things to do another item that is a stool that does this exact same thing is actually this so it might have something to do with the seat being invisible over the top of where you're able to color but anyway you're able to color this all white which is you know really cool but you can't color the top top is incolorable unless you do the same trick here and color it like that again it's nice that you can color it all in moderation 
but should it be that difficult? No, it should be a simple click. And it'd be really cool to see these items get fixed. All right, up next we have this, uh, the very expensive lamp. So the problem I have with this lamp is that if you were to go to color, you know, you color the bottom, it's fine. It looks great. And let's say I wanted the outside to be white. That's perfectly fine as well. Okay, well, I want this to match this, right? So let's match that right now. Then we go in to look on the inside and, oh, well, that's weird. The, uh, well, you can't really see it because it's asking. There, now you can see it. The light bulb itself changes to black. Well, I want that to be white because I want it to look like a light bulb. Well, then it changes this as well. Again, we have another problem here. This is exactly the problem that the clock has. If you want certain parts of it to be a different color, especially one as defining as the light in the middle, you can't do that because then this has to be white. So you're kind of stuck here deciding between, well, are people going to notice the light bulb? Probably not. So it's not, I guess, a huge deal. But again, it could, you know, it could be better. And I think it would bother some people that you're not able to do that. So I thought I'd just shine some light on that situation as well. All right, then we have the tea kettle or the water boiler, whatever you want to call this thing. Um, I think a lot of us know the issue with this. This looks great right here, right? But if I wanted the handles to be black, uh-oh, the whole thing is that color now. And let's say I wanted, well, hold on, maybe I just want this white. Nope, it doesn't work. The entire thing will change no matter what you do. Well, as far as I'm aware, if there is a way to do this differently, then <laughs> tell me, please. But from what I've been doing and what, from what I know, uh, that's just how this item works. It's a one color type situation. Is it the end of the world? No, absolutely not. Would it be really, really nice though, if we could get the, um, like the top and this to be um, color interchangeable without changing the whole thing yes it'd be great and again it's another one of those items that has a problem like that all right and then we have this um wall art design uh i don't know if this is a problem for everyone for some reason i'm getting deja vu or whatever and i feel like people have been able to change this before but as far as i'm aware you're only able to change these and not these um even having these boxes be a completely different color that you can change like having each one be a different um interchangeable color would be really cool as well but besides that I think it's a great item. Obviously, a lot of people use this, but like you can't color the candles. Now, imagine that if these candles came blue or like orange or something, it would be way less useful than it is right now. And that's kind of the dilemma or problem that I have with objects like this that you aren't really able to change as much. Now, a more uh, recent one that has a problem like the one I just had shown with the candles, this one, uh, they're all orange the pumpkins are orange. So if these pumpkins were, you know, somehow, you know, a tan or a white color, it wouldn't be as big of a problem, but they're orange, so it's very hard to, you know, come up with a solution to make this look good um, after fall or anytime after Halloween, right? Now you might be thinking, well, he's never done anything where he's made it so that you could change you know, this type of stuff before. Well, he actually has. If we go back to 2023, um, you have something very similar here with the pumpkin, except this pumpkin is not a pumpkin um, texture. I believe that these are texture overlays on the pumpkins here. Either that or he really doesn't want us to color it, which that would be kind of strange as well. But it wouldn't be the first time. Um, for this pumpkin though, you're able to change the color of it, which means if you really wanted to make this something like a pear color here and just change the fruit overall and get very specific with it, say one of those candles white, you can get something like this, which has far more uses with houses in general. You could say that this is a different fruit. You could say that this is anything, but to match one's build, it is far more useful to have it this way than to have it this way because I've already had numerous people in the building community um complain to me that this is going to be one of the reasons that they're not going to be able to use it as much or they're going to have to cover it up with something so to have this be colorable would be astounding and this goes for this object here as well i cannot tell you how useful this item would have been if it just were able to change that pumpkin right there but now that we're on the topic of some of the recent items that were added let's talk about this table for a second my gosh this is a beautiful table right well does it color yeah it colors um, and I went over this in my recent video, but it does not color on the corner areas right here. And the books, um, you might be able to color them if you like glitch it like really, really hard. 
but as far as I'm aware, uh, you're not able to get this to color. And if anyone finds a solution to this, since these are new, there might be a way to color all of this. I don't know. But as of right now, you can't, um, and I'm having trouble with it. And it really ruins this object because with white here, it looks fine. But if I wanted this table to be a darker color, it stands out like a sore thumb. And if your build revolves around like a tricolor or even a quad color, um, like, and if that color doesn't involve an orangish color or a brown, this is really going to stand out and it's going to make it so you're not going to really be able to use it, which is a shame because it's a very great item. Because color is important in this game when it comes to building especially. And another recent item, uh, a big downfall here um, I've heard from people in the building community as well they were really hoping they'd be able to make these green or white or black but you're not even able to change a single part on this item and I don't know if this it's because this item was made in blender because it looks like I'm seeing some signs of like blender or maybe it was just made in a studio I'd be interested but um because I know sometimes when importing things from blender it makes it so it has a pre-made texture and you're not able to like color it blah 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 I'm not like a like a huge roblox um in-game developer or anything so i wouldn't know anything about this don't take my word on it um i could be entirely wrong and i am probably entirely wrong but um you cannot color this at all not even the lights not the leaves and not the string which makes this item only usable during fall which is a shame because this item would be great it'd be so fun to use if it wasn't just for fall all right another item that has a problem might surprise you it's this uziataku bed now if you're sorry don't, don't get me wrong um it's very pretty but if i'm going to be spending so much on a bed in this game i don't know if it went down since the new update or whatever but these things used to be like really expensive if i'm going to color the bottom or what's first of all let's say i want this to be white okay cool that looks great but i want to change this uh, brown color now all right let's make it like dark black what <laughs> yeah um if you change this in case you didn't know it changes the entire bed but i want my sheets to be green nope you're screwed because it makes this green as well now some of you might like that it makes it all one color because you might like this color a lot but i would i'd argue that a lot of people or a lot of you do not like that it does this because you want to make you want your sheets usually to be a different color than the baseboard of your bed i mean you got to have some sort of contrast there otherwise it looks like just one singular item you can change the pillow which is nice you know but it'd be excellent if we could change the sheets in this scenario and i'm not quite sure why this item does this all right now one that is uncommon to many people because some people don't know you can just open it from the presence um is this uh the shirt rack here um some of you might not know this because you don't use it at all but you can't change the actual hangers themselves which isn't a huge deal because most hangers are brown but again if you wanted it to be like white or gray or something you're not able to do that and it'd be really cool if you could even the rack itself cannot be changed unfortunately and i think it would be really cool if we could change that it's another um issue with coloring that's going on here all right, and then just a bonus here. I'm going to talk about the laptop real quick. It'd be really cool if we could get this laptop to, like, if we could turn the screen off permanently and just get a simple black and then have the keyboards actually extruding from the um, laptop itself and have it so I can color the entire thing. Because as it stands right now, if I want this laptop to be black, everything else kind of stands out like a sore thumb in a house. Although it is still very cool and very useful, I just think items like this in the game would be so cool if you could like just completely change the look of the entirety of it and i think this item definitely could be updated to fit that application form all right then we have the treasure chest item in the game um not a lot of the people use this for decorative purposes as it is very limited to decorative purposes um but you're not able to change the back of this um i believe you're actually able to change the glow inside too which is really cool and the outside but this entire back side as far as i'm aware is unchangeable unless it's changeable through this nope it is not okay yeah you can't change it and it's been like that for a very long time and again it's one of the many objects that could definitely use that color change um or adjustment so as i'm making this video about halfway through guys or maybe it's not halfway maybe, maybe it's only one fourth of the way through um you're probably noticing now there's a lot of items that have problems with color and i'm not sure why that is um i know we have qa testers for this game um so maybe there aren't a lot of people that qa test that go over that certain thing like coloring or building or centering stuff like that but i wish there was more you know people who cared about that so maybe by the time it gets released they wouldn't have those problems but yeah i'm not sure why there's so many like that obviously a lot of these items are older so you know it's not a big deal but a lot there's a good amount that are newer as well all right next up we have the tot uh 
what is this cabinets or something dresser um this is an old item so like it's expected that some of these are going to have problems like this uh but actually did you know there is actually a way to color this you have to zoom in very specifically here and it's not easy at all so i'm gonna bear with me here guys all right so here it is this took forever i don't know if i'm gonna have a speed thing showing this or or if i'm just gonna cut to it but right here as you can see this item clips into the object and you have to get this lined up perfectly with your avatar it might be easier with different sized avatars for me it was pretty difficult more than i remember it being because I'm a little bit of a shorter avatar, but as you can see, it's right here. And if you click that, it actually changes these buttons. And what that means is, well, now if you really wanted this to look a certain way, um, you can have it look that way. And I think it actually looks really, really cool. I mean, no one really uses this item because they're always usually blue. And no one wants them to be blue, I'll tell you that for sure. Unless your house revolves around a dark royal blue, I don't think you'd want that. Now, most people will just use, like, you know, a poster for dressers anyways, like this. I mean, it looks, like, hella nicer. But still, you can't color this these usually just by clicking on them. And it'd be nice to see dude one um, maybe come in and do an overhaul on the things you're able to color. Because it shouldn't be that hard to color certain items in this game. Another item that falls under the same exact struggle would actually be um, this, uh, this thing. I think it's like a dojo towel rack or something. And again, it'd be really useful, but most people don't try because you can't, it's not easy to color the um, red parts of it. Or, yeah, the red parts. Now, I will say, if it's on the ground, it is at least 10 times more difficult. So, I'm going to put it in the air so you can at least see that this thing can definitely be colored. Um, I'm going to do it all gray. If I go inwards here, it should allow me... I'm just I'm spam clicking because this is not easy to get to change its color. Okay, so as you can see, that's how you do it right there. You almost have to be inside of this object. So, if I do that, look, it's that color. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's very cool. This item would probably have a lot more uses if people knew about that um but it can be a lot harder when it's on the ground like i said but when you're regularly trying to go color this it doesn't let you and even doing this it's extremely difficult you have to quite literally be inside of it like this so again i just wish that this was easier i'm not sure why it has to be that difficult and it doesn't he just needs to fix the areas in which you can color the certain object All right, and stepping away a little from just color in general um some of the objects don't line up or they don't have things centered um a good example is this this one's not a huge deal there's one that's way worse than this um but if i put this one here it looks perfectly fine except this thing that sits in the supposed mi middle of this one right here it's not actually centered i don't know if you can tell but it's not and maybe i'm being very picky but i only noticed it because when i went to go stack this object to make a pillar you can see a piece of the bottom sticks out, which means it isn't centered with the bottom. And you get this weird little pop-out right here. Now, it's not a big deal because if you're really realistically just trying to make this blend into your pillar, you just color it and it doesn't look that crazy. But again, um, minor uh, issue with that item not being centered there at the bottom. All right, then we have this mirror. Um, this mirror was part of the new um, furniture set that came out not too long ago. Um, a lot of these objects you couldn't color, so there were a lot of problems with these. Um, and it's still not fixed. If I wanted to color the outside, you still can't color it. Um, maybe if you did something like this, it could color. But I'm not going to take the time to figure that out. Because you should be able to just click it and it should color. And it doesn't. So, it's unfortunate. Again, it needs to be fixed. Alright, let's talk about items that have a texture on it. This fridge it would be very, very cool. I think there was something very similar to this, but and it was called the Princess Fridge. Which is why I actually kind of liked the Princess set. And I never bought a bunch of them, unfortunately, before he took certain ones away. Um, but if I were to simply color it, there's my gray. This doesn't color for some reason, because I think it's a hinge. So um, you can color it still like that. And then if I want the handles to be gray, I can color the handles individually, which is really cool. But if I wanted the stainless steel aspect of it, which I think is just a gradient um, overlay, um, you can't color that. So these items have a texture over as you can see it colors the edges but it doesn't color the main bit because it's a texture overlay and it's just a shame because if you wanted this to be more versatile you're not able to do that because of that texture and you can actually see that it is um, a gradient texture because over here it starts out lighter and it gets darker. But yeah, it'd be cool if we could have more customization options for this. Even more fridges would be kind of nice. And a lot of these textures.
texture issues apply to many of the items in the game. Now, I hate the food items in the game. Like, I really dislike them. Um, maybe they'd be cooler if you could color them. But yeah, these have a texture on it. So you're not able... Whoa, <laughs> I wasn't trying to do that. Um, you're able to color the fork. I'm not sure if you're able to color the plate. Let's see real quick. You're able to color the plate. That's actually pretty cool. But you're not able to color the cake itself because it is an actual texture um, from either Dude One himself or Roblox somewhere. I'm not really quite sure. Um, but yeah, you can't color it, which makes it non-usable if you're going for a certain stylistic look or if you just wanted your cake to be white or green or blue can't do any of that so i just brought that up because all the food items have it's a good example of how color is important and makes it so people don't actually end up really using these items because of that all right then we have this chair from 2023 i'm not expecting him to fix items that were limited at one point because it doesn't affect a huge majority of the community but it does suck a little when you go to color it here and then let's say you wanted the entire bottom of the chair to be white. Okay, when I go to color it, it only colors one of the stripes. If I want to color the other stripe over here, if I can get it to not be all broken, it doesn't color. So you're stuck with this gray stripe. So if you wanted this cushioning to be red, it could only be red with a gray stripe on it. So it sucks that you have to zoom in in order to change stuff in general. Again, it should be something that's accessible uh, way easier than that. And then we have the elegant table here. This one's a tricky one because um, it does look really great. Even if you have it all just white, it's perfectly fine. But as you could see right there, it went all white right away. So this table has a very cool and unique design where it actually has a um, double color palette going throughout the entire thing. And if you just wanted this to be white or you just wanted this part to be white and then have these sides if you wanted these sides to be black or a darker gray you wouldn't be able to do that because it changes the entire thing it would even be nice to see this have a tricolor um scenario if you were to try to change it but unfortunately no matter where you try to change it it'll always be one color as far as i'm aware all right and then next we have this towel rack right here um <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for calling this one up because no one's going to care about this one, but it actually doesn't sit on the, on the wall. And the only reason I noticed this uh, to begin with is because when I tried to rotate this item to make like little tables like this, when you connect two of them, it um, doesn't sit on the ground like that. Also, another thing that you might not know about these towel racks is they're not centered, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, no one's going to know this either, but you know me testing or building a lot of things i've had my fair share of realizing this so if i were to place this here and then i want one to be all right as you can see i have them perfectly connected so they should line up perfectly but they don't they're like a pixel off of being <laughs> centered or at least aligned with one another i don't know if it's a centering issue or what but the towel the towel itself is very minorly off but again, not a huge issue, just a very interesting thing to take note of. Alright, then we have the Ziataku uh, toilet. Uh, no one really uses this anyways, so I guess it's not a big problem. Uh, but again, maybe more people would use it if it was centered. I know I definitely would try to come up with more things to use this for if it were centered, but it's not. So if I were to place this here and go in uh, the command C or whatever to do the overlap thing here. Oh, um, as you can see, they are not centered with one another, or at least not centered in the main uh, uh, build grid here. As you can see, it's a little off. Even with the naked eye, you could definitely tell that that is off. So it causes situations like this where, you know, it doesn't quite work out or align with itself. So you wouldn't be able to make like unique objects out of this. So yeah, it's, it's just very noticeable. And unfortunately, um, it makes it so you're not able to make many things with it. So yeah, just be cool to see that one maybe get centered and the reason i'm actually making this video is because this item right here actually had a huge major centering issue but as of lately it actually got fixed um i don't think there was any report on this actually being fixed but in case anyone was curious this item is now perfectly centered with itself um so you could definitely make some very cool things with that i'm just hoping to see some change here um, anyway, up next we got the fish, uh, tank here. Uh, not that many people care or anything, like, I definitely don't care. I never really use this item like that. Um, but if you wanted to use the item and you didn't like the black, you can't change it. It's stuck on black. You might be thinking, well, maybe that's just how his fish tanks are in the game. Well, maybe you're wrong because this one can be colored, as you can see right there. So there's no reason the other one shouldn't be able to be colored as well. And there's no reason any of them shouldn't be able to be realistically. All right, secret time. Maybe you didn't know that this black part here is actually a glowing object. So if I were to color this, 
it glows another secret this item also does the same thing um i know a lot of you probably do know about this but some of you don't this one also glows so some of the items that are black actually glow and i think that's very cool if people were curious about that all right then we have this uh pixar lamp right here or <laughs> um just the 80s desk lamp i think it's called um this item is so cool and it had so much going for it at one point but the problem is if i make this white and i try to make this white the entire object is white now but i want this to be white well you can't you can't actually make that cone object white and it might literally be because it's a cone i know some objects that aren't actually um how do i put it in um the roblox studio some objects that aren't actually a pre-made shape have um problems with coloration and it's more of a setting that you just need to fix um in the studio itself i'm pretty sure or maybe again i could be wrong but it'd be really cool if this item could be colored man because that gray is not always something you want to do like i know a lot of these are known for actually being red and if you can't color that red then then it's gonna be a little sucky wucky all right then we have this uh the small little plant here this one's super well known very popular so i'm assuming a lot of you know about this but you can color this which is great you can color the bottom which is great but once you start coloring the bottom you run into the issue where the dirt disappears on the inside now some of you might like this um for aesthetic purposes but um yeah it's just something to take note of um this changes the entire bottom portion of it and just um yeah <laughs> All right, then we have our toilet paper. The toilet paper is not centered. Um, I noticed this when I was making one of the cars. If I go to line these up with one another, they are very off between the two. And it just makes it harder to make uh, unique objects with these smaller objects. So yeah, just another another thing that could be fixed here. All right, and then we have this 80s desk right here. Um, you can change the legs, you can change the top, which is really cool. But if you wanted the legs to be gray, but you wanted the knobs to stay a certain color, you can't do that. The legs change with the knobs, and I'm not sure why it does that. Um, again, it's one of those niches where it's like, uh, I don't know why it does that, and I really wish it didn't. There's also clipping going on here on the front end of the object. Not that that's a huge issue, but um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of noticeable if you have a dark on light. All right, then we have this uh, four-legged um lamp this one's gonna be so well known by people because this item looks so good i know a lot of people tried to use this and probably ran into the comment issue where boom oh i didn't catch it let me do it again boom oh yeah the legs don't change color bro what the heck you can change this for some reason and you also can't change the top so this thing is purely locked pretty much to looking um like this um i can even try to maybe change that little no matter where you click on here i've tried for a very long time because i thought maybe there's a weird um color hitbox on here i couldn't find one if you know about one uh let me know but it's a shame because this item's very good looking man and you just can't change the colors of it at all and it's been like that forever all right and then i'm just gonna quickly go over this uh for the christmas items that all come out of the pack that's in my inventory right now almost every single one of these you just can't color anything like it's bizarre like i can color all this stuff but there's a good portion of this that doesn't color and probably the most bold colors don't color um the browns some of them color um i'm just spam clicking here so all that is right here doesn't color. So you can't even make it all cutesy if you wanted to. It just doesn't color. The candy canes look very cute, very cool. Would be a very unique item. They do not change color. Please, man. Dude, one, if you're watching or if you're considering any of this at all, these items would be so useful in so many scenarios. I could very well try to figure out ways to utilize the unique shape going on here. But you can't because you can't color it. And again, it's like that for many of the items. These presents, you can't color, um, I'm guessing, because it's a texture overlay again. It's just a shame, man. It, it is a shame. And that's how all those Christmas items are. And then we have uh, this plant. This one's really old, so it might be like a stretch to ask for this because it is just a Roblox textured item, just enlarged. Um, but yeah, you can't color any of this. If you could somehow remodel this thing and just or just remove the texture from this thing and give like maybe the pot... Um, an in-game roblox texture kind of like a granite maybe and then just have this be like a, the leaf thing so that we can color it would be great because then this would be able to be used in a lot more scenarios and i think it'd be very cute and it, i don't think it would involve much um much uh developing to get this to actually work you just remove the texture and change out the textures for certain parts that it, again i don't think it'd be that difficult and you might be thinking well you're asking for too much like all these little nitpicky things well, how come this turkey that no one is 
like using half the time. You're able to color every single thing on there. Like, look at how many different colors there are on here. How many different areas of color. Look, these change. The, the lettuce stuff changes. The plate changes, and the turkey. So he's fully capable of doing this, guys. And sometimes I feel like it's definitely accidental because some of these items that um, you can change fully, like this turkey, nobody uses. So it's not like he's intentionally or de-intentionally doing some of this stuff. It's just the way it is. And even these other Christmas items here, you can't change like any of this pretty much. The snow globe, there's a lot you can't change on it. The milk and cookies, the plate, you can't change. So it makes it kind of ugly if you were to use it other times of the year. All right, and it's getting into Halloween soon too. So let's start talking about some more Halloween stuff here. Um, these pumpkins. I get it, this is something very strictly that most people are going to use on Halloween anyways, so it doesn't matter. But how cool would it be if we could change the glow from the pumpkins, or the color of the pumpkins? You can change the stem, that's about it. Uh, maybe you could change the inside, I'm not going to try right now, because it should be easier than glitching to get that to change. But if we could have some black pumpkins with like a green glow on the inside, I mean, how sick would that be? I mean, it'd be so cool. I mean, if this ghost thing is able to change colors... How come this shouldn't be able to change colors? You know what I'm saying? All right, let me get this bean here. Um, it's just a common item in the game. Uh, you can change a lot on here. Well, not a lot, but you can change all that. I am pretty sure you can change the actual eye color, maybe. Um, but yeah, the main color of it changes, which is very cool. But you can't actually change the eyes. Um, you might be able to if you were to glitch um, like your your camera in there but again it shouldn't be that hard um but i guess this one's not a big deal because it's not like people are using this 24 7. all right then we got this patio um chair right here this one's been in the game for a very long time as far as i'm aware and um if you go to color it, it changes this front bit right here so if you just wanted this to be white throughout you can't have that it changes the texture in that area for some reason and i'm not quite sure why it does that and i think that's something that could be fixed and uh this item is used all the time so i think this one would be very great to see all right let me have this uh bookshelf thingy here um this one if i remember i um, if I could be wrong, otherwise I'll cut this out of the video, but I remember there being certain things that you can't color on here. Oh, there it is. I was like, oh, I'm just stupid. You can color everything. No, uh, you can't color the bottom hinges, um, which is fine because it's a gray, so it's not going to throw too many people's builds off. It's very neutral. But um, yeah, it's the only thing you can't change on there. Otherwise, everything else can be changed. So just make note of that. You can't change that. Uh, the common pumpkin, you can't change this. It'd be so cute. Like, what if you could make these white? Like, there's white pumpkins. <laughs> and then we got the apple bobbing. Um, you're able to... There was part of this that I remember you're able to change. Uh, there we go. The water. Um, I thought you were able to change the sides. Maybe not. But as you can see, it's very difficult for me right now to change this stuff. Shouldn't be that hard. And a lot of this should be able to be recolored. And the pumpkins go throughout all these um, right here got more pumpkins on here that can't be colored and you got more pumpkins here that can't be colored in general it'd be cool if the pumpkins were just a regular model instead of a texture so that you could recolor them and as i showed you prior it has been done before so why couldn't it be done this time again i'm not trying to like hate or anything man i'm just saying like it'd be really cool if this stuff was fixed because it's pretty buggy sometimes Okay, then we got our mixer here. You might be thinking, wow, I don't see anybody use this for their interior design. Oh, well, I wonder why. Maybe it's because you can't change the bottom of this thing. Yeah, these sides right here in the bottom are either incredibly difficult to color or they don't change at all. And even this one right here isn't changing. Um, in general, it just shouldn't be hard to change this stuff. But I want to bring attention to something else that's bugged out with this item. Even if you were able to change all these colors, the corner wedge here colors as well which shouldn't happen because if you truly wanted this item to be recolorable having that black little bit there uh would be very annoying if you wanted just your mixer itself to be black and the bowl to be like white or gray so this item needs a lot of work if some if it's going to get fixed color wise this needs to be something that changes in one swoop of color this line should be a separate color and then the bowl and the mixer the entire mixing thing should be one color as well so we'll see um because i'm gonna make a bug report on all these items but hopefully uh this one gets fixed because that's why this one doesn't get used and it's a little sad all right then we have the piano this item is very cool and a little underrated 
um, but no one uses it because you can't really make that many different design builds based on this. Um, if he just removed the texture and maybe just kept the texture for the piano keys or made custom piano key individual objects, um, you could definitely use this more if you could color it. So a lot of these items just involve removing the texture for a more versatile um, building. Oh, and here's ones that <laughs> here's one that's gonna definitely people are gonna know. And they're gonna be like, thank you for including this one because this one sucks. Okay, so if I go to color this, just make it some nice colors, and I want these to be white. That looks really cute, right? But if I rejoin the game, either the couch will all be white or it'll all be green. I forgot which uh, is the dominator in this situation, but basically none of this stuff stays the color it's supposed to be. These pillows always revert back, I think, to the couch um, color on rejoin, which is a shame. This is something that should have been fixed a while ago and I really want to see fixed. All right, another item is the rocket here. A lot of these common items do have problems in and of themselves with it. Like all the card ones, they don't color correct, but I don't care about any of the card stuff, but I guess the rocket could be used a little bit more. So I'm just gonna mention real quick. Um, you're able to color everything except for the red and the gray here. So it's very off-putting and I just wish that um, you were able to color all that. All right, then we got this modern statue thingy here. Um, this item is a little outdated. Um, I don't see it being used a whole lot, like at all. Maybe if he shrunk it down and made it smaller, more of like a knickknack kind of thing for the houses, I think it would work a little bit better. But uh, even if that, if we go to place this and try to color it, we have to color every single one of these things. Why is this? I don't know. Maybe some people really like this. I really don't like this. I wish it would just color in one go. Um, I think maybe more people would use it then because it's not so tedious to color. Uh, this one... This object, I really don't know how people feel about it, but it's definitely starting to get outdated. I remember it used to get used a lot early on in Pizza Place, and it isn't anymore, and maybe this is why. Alright, then we have our modern clock, the one that sits on the wall. This item is really cool, um, but again, since it's a texture on here, um, it's uh, uh, kind of outdated. People aren't going to really use it like that. So, like, if I make it black, it makes the outside black, which is fine. Um, but, like, let's say you wanted the numbers to be black, and then the you know the middle part to be white you wouldn't be able to do that um it would work if he made these all custom models like a 12 3 9 6 and then had the things extruding from there it'd be very cool and dang it would be a really nice item if that's the case if he fixed this entire thing to make it an actual model that you can recolor instead of just a texture overlay on top of the circle that would be really really cool okay then we have this lamp from the victorian set um this one if you were to color the bottom and then color the top when you rejoin the game it looks something like this it'll all be one color again so you can never really keep it two colors and i'm not sure what is causing this problem but i'm sure a lot of people know about this one and then for some reason this chair right here from the victorian set as well you're not able to color the red bit which is why people don't use it at all could you imagine how much this would be used if you could just change the color of this seat like it's a nice chair but you don't see it anywhere because of that reason all right, same goes for this. Uh, you can't really color these little things, the drawers right here. Even the handles have pro pro like problems getting colored too. Um, not sure why this is, but if you're curious why people don't use this that often, that's literally why, because it has that color bug problem. All right, guys, and that's all I have for now. Um, I'm very curious what you guys think about all this. Has some of these been like bothering, bothering you for like a very long time? Uh, is some of this new to you, new information? Um, would you like to see a lot of these get changed? Because um, I definitely would like to be able to color this stuff. And I, I think um, something that maybe Dude One hasn't considered is the amount of influence color really has on his objects. If you're not able to color an object, it quite literally makes it not used as much as it should be. From the clocks, to the couches, to the tables, to the, even the chairs. Some of the most beautifully designed objects could be absolutely ruined if a color is too bold on that object and you're not able to color it. Like the red, for example. If it were white, I could see it being used more often, but you should be able to change those colors regardless. So I thought I'd just do this little fun video, um, get more in the groove of uploading again. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.